How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing you another absolute banger of a platinum. Today, we've got another one from Game Try called Astro Rangers, and you're looking at two bucks on the PlayStation Store with four total stacks. This is a little third person arcade shooter. You've got a pistol with unlimited ammo. You can pick up new weapons with limited ammo that are way stronger than the pistol. You can get grenades and some perks that will give you a random effect like a money magnet. Gameplay wise, you move with the stick. You can jump with circle, but you'll never really have to deal with that at all. You can throw a grenade with L2, fire with R2, and swap between any guns you have with L1 and R1. Enemies will drop either money or health pickups, and you need both whether you're full on health or not. There's a trophy for picking up a thousand of those health pickups, so grab every single one that drops. There's also some boxes that you'll find, and those will either have one of those power weapons in it or a perk thing. More often than not, it's just a weapon, and again, grab these every single chance you get, as there's a trophy for getting those too. Money is your first priority here. There's an upgrade in the shop for 10000 that doubles all of the money that you get, so make sure you grab that as soon as you can, as there's a trophy for getting to a million dollars. Personally, I took the time to grind out enough in the first few levels to unlock the unlimited grenades for 10k, then the unlimited ammo for another 10k, and the RPG for 7k. Everything becomes a joke after that, but make sure that before you go to the 50k god mode unlock that you let yourself die once if you haven't yet. As far as I could tell, once you turn it on, you can't turn it off. You don't have to buy any of the other upgrades per se, but I would at least grab the golden gun just because there's some turrets in some of the levels which don't seem to die to the RPG for some reason, and the golden gun obviously kills everything in one shot. Alright, so let's talk about trophies and the elephant in the room. This game is a grind. You have to finish all 15 levels, and that's not so bad. You're looking at probably an hour, hour and a half to finish all of them. The levels are kinda not great. They're huge, and because of how enemies spawn, they all spawn around ships in big clusters. You'll end up wandering around the space station looking for things to fight for about as long as you do the actual fighting. The worst part, by far, is the grind. This took me just over four hours of almost continuous play with only a few breaks to finish, and at least on PSN profiles, the fastest anybody has finished the Platinum has been right around three hours. There's no difficulty whatsoever once you unlock God Mode and have unlimited ammo, so once you finish the last level, it just becomes grinding the same few levels over and over again until you've got the Platinum. So, I'll break down the grindy trophies and which level you'll want to head to for them. FYI, your progress with these trophies does save when you go home or restart in a level, so restarting rather than finishing the level will usually be our plan here. First and foremost, and by far the longest grind, the Doctor. This one is to eat a thousand painkillers, which are the pill bottle drops that enemies will spawn. You can pair this one with Postman, the trophy to find the 150 bonus packages. It's just to pick up 150 upgrades slash weapons in the first level, out for justice. You can either head forward when you spawn and clear out the hallway and room afterwards, heading back the way you came to clear everything behind where you spawn, or you can just head backwards when you start. If you just head backwards, you only get one upgrade, but it'll be relatively quicker to restart once you get all the way to the end of the last room going in that direction. Heading forward just until you get the two upgrades in the hallway and then turning around to head backwards is also a good strat. Second, we've got Orange Barrel Rage, which is to destroy 100 orange barrels, and Money Man, the trophy to collect a million dollars, and we'll be doing these on the 8th level, Target Practice. Both of these can be completed together because the orange barrels will always drop a single diamond worth 30k, so just pick them up as they drop. The mission is to kill 10, so I just went through and finished the level 10 times, but I could see where stopping and restarting at some point could maybe speed things up a little. Next up, 
We've got the Destroyer of Worlds trophy to destroy a thousand crates. The boxes that upgrades come out of don't count. It's specifically the crates in level 12, the race. You have to destroy 50 crates to finish the level, so this was another level where I just completed it 20 times rather than restarting. Finally, the last trophy you'll have left will be Tank Buster, the one to destroy 50 tanks, and we'll be doing this in level 5, Urban Warfare. This one is by far the least painful of the grindy trophies, as the tanks only take two shots from the RPG to destroy, and right at spawn there's a room with three tanks you could take out in pretty quick succession. I would just quickly take out the three tanks in the room and restart for this one. Again, this is an absolute grind of a platinum, but there's really no difficulty to it whatsoever since you get so much money early on and can unlock unlimited everything pretty quickly. Expect over three hours to finish this, so whether you want to just go all in and finish it in one sitting, or if you want to break it up over a weekend or something, is up to you. That'll do it for me though, everybody. If you plan on getting this one, leave a like, subscribe for more, and comment down below which number of platinum this was for you. Is number 921 for me.